Happy Sheesh. New Year! Welcome back to another video. Today, we're discussing the 14 skins that were canceled in 2022. Will we see them here in 2023? We're gonna get to that in a minute. But first, subscribe if you have not already and make sure you guys smash that like button. Thank Gee, thanks. You. Since the release of Sonic Speed Simulator, we have accumulated many, many new skins. 50 as a matter of fact, but did you know that 14 skins almost made it into the game but were canceled for whatever reason? These are the 14 skins canceled by Sonic Speed Simulator. Huge shout out to my friend Alan on Twitter. Go follow him. He's the one who put this list together for me. All right, let's get into it. Number 14, Wireframe Metal Sonic. Wireframe Metal Sonic was first leaked in December. Many thought that this would be a part of daily challenges. The info I can gather on this skin is that it's an original character developed by Nybrock Rock, one of the developers of Sonic Speed Simulator. It looks very, very cool, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too sad that it didn't make it into the game. Number 13, Prime Rouge. Why did Prime Rouge get removed from the spawn inside of Sonic Speed Simulator? It was thought that we were gonna get this a few weeks ago because it was teased inside of the test server, but it never actually made it into the game. But good news, there's still a very good chance that we're gonna see this here very soon because Sonic Prime is still going strong, and I'm sure we still have at least one or two more Prime events coming to Sonic Speed Simulator. Number 12, Super Sonic. We definitely thought we were gonna get Super Sonic a few weeks ago when the Frontiers update was dropped. It would have been the perfect timing for them, but no, they decided not to do it. There was also speculation that we're gonna get it in December when the Super Sonic plushie was leaked and uploaded to the Game Fam store. That, with the combination of the Super Chili Dog cart that was also leaked around the same time, fans were super disappointed to find out that Super Sonic was in fact not coming to Sonic Speed Simulator anytime soon. Number 11, Winter Sonic. Winter Sonic was first teased over a month ago, and we thought we were gonna get it in the beginning of December with the winter update, but that winter update never came. In fact, we had the Prime update, we had RB battles, and then we had our Christmas update. Will we actually get a winter update here in January? Chances are yes, especially since there was a new asset that was just leaked, a decal, and the image was named Slope. So it's possible that we're gonna get a winter update here in a few days with a new hoverboard and a new skin, Winter Sonic. Number 10, Christmas Rouge. Christmas Rouge should have been here over a week ago with the winter update, but it was never dropped along with Santa Big that was also speculated to come though never exactly leaked. It's possible that they're saving Christmas Rouge for next Christmas because remember, Sonic Speed Simulator has a plan two years in the making. So they definitely have set aside assets for next winter's Christmas update. Number nine, Winter Amy. Winter Amy is another skin that was leaked about a month ago, though we never actually got it in the game. Could it be possible that Winter Amy is gonna be the second skin in the upcoming winter update here pretty soon? Well, it's if it actually is a winter update coming up pretty soon. My guess is yes. Winter Amy will probably be either a daily challenge or added to the Winter Sonic update. Number eight, Silver the Hedgehog. Silver the Hedgehog was first leaked all the way back in August. The official Game Fam store even dropped the silver hat, which made us all think that Silver the Hedgehog was right around the corner. But just like all the other skins in this list, it was nowhere to be found. When will we be getting Silver the Hedgehog? Given that he is one of the most popular skins in Sonic Speed Simulator, we're all hoping very, very soon. Number seven, Cream the Rabbit. Cream the Rabbit was first leaked many, many months ago. In fact, some knockoff Sonic RP games managed to get a hold of the model early and you can go play it in game now. But the real question is, when will we get Cream the Rabbit inside of Sonic Speed Simulator? It's only fitting that Cream the Rabbit comes soon because there are literally only two other female characters in the game. Number six, Black Light Metal 3.0. Blacklight Metal was leaked many months ago, but never dropped in the game. It could be that many fans were complaining about the amount of Metal Sonic reskins in the game. Given Game Fam's tendencies in the past, we can expect that this Metal Sonic reskin will be available either shortly before or after a major update. This way, the developers can have time to focus on that major update. Number five, Jester Metal Sonic. This Jester Metal Sonic icon was released but never actually made it into the game. 
Jester Metal Sonic from Sonic Rivals was an outfit you could change into. Will we see Jester Metal Sonic inside a Sonic Speed Simulator? Maybe eventually, yes. Number four, Damaged Metal Sonic. As you can see, there are many, many Metal Sonic reskins, but this one, unlike others, is the original Metal Sonic, only damaged. Why was this Scrapyard Metal Sonic scrapped from the game? We still don't know, but judging from the sheer amount of Metal Sonics in the game already, I can imagine that many, many fans won't be missing this skin anytime soon. Number three, Paladin Amy. Bladen Amy was a favorite among Sonic Speed Simulator clickbait channels, though never actually made it into the game. Originally from Sonic Dash, Paladin Amy is one bad looking hedgehog. For some reason, Amy is one of the least popular characters inside of Sonic Speed Simulator, though very popular in the franchise itself. Could it be because many Robloxers follow Creekcraft and other big YouTubers who constantly bash on Amy? Or is it just the fact that we have so many Amy reskins already in the game? Number two, the Game Fam Mouse. Now, Game Fam tried to capitalize on the popularity of their golden hit this summer, Sonic Speed Simulator. The mesh was designed, but never actually made it into the game, probably because of the amount of people laughing at this skin and comparing it to Chuck E. Cheese. Will we ever see the Game Fam mouse inside of Sonic Speed Simulator? At this point, I would have to say a big fat no, and I'm pretty sure nobody else really cares either. It has nothing to do with Sonic, it's just an advertisement for GameFam, and with all the negative publicity they've had in recent months, I can expect that they're gonna try to keep GameFam's image away from Sonic Speed Simulator as much as possible, especially considering that Sonic Speed Simulator is still licensed to Sega. And now, for the very last skin that was canceled in Sonic Speed Simulator, you guys have guessed it, yes, we're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog. By far the most wanted skin in Sonic Speed Simulator, and though we thought we were gonna get it many, many times over, it's still nowhere to be found. Will we never see this skin in the game? Or is Game Fam just holding off for the right moment? Though the game's popularity is almost at an all-time low, the Sonic Speed Simulator developers should consider bringing in Shadow the Hedgehog sooner than later. Will it save the game? I'm not sure, but for sure, we can't wait until the movie comes out in two years. By then, there will be nobody left playing the game, and it'll be just a waste of time. Congratulations, you watched till the end. Make sure you guys comment down below, and make sure you like this video.